what's going on y'all welcome back to my channel uh previously this channel was the day in the life of jb bless i shortened it up because when you're trying to tell people to subscribe to your channel it's kind of long to go through all of that so i shortened it up to jay's life out loud um As, as I always say, it's a show about something, about nothing. Getting off work, went in at 6.30, got off at uh, 6.30, so chilling before I take my shower and uh, get in the bed and do it all over at 6 a.m. in the morning again. Um, uh, as far as the garden goes, I did harvest some uh, collard greens. Uh, cut them, washed them, let them sit in some salt water, and then I um, put them in a plastic uh, Ziploc bag to freeze them to cook for later. Um, I'm waiting on my tomatoes, my corn, you know, all the good stuff, but I guess it's, you know, patience, 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 all in time. Um, let me stop saying, um, I hate when I do that. What else is going on? Mm. Work hours are picking up. You know, being back to work is different from being off almost, well, I think, like two and a half months. Now we back, back at work. You know, we already wear safety glasses when you work in a plant. Now you have to wear a mask and safety glasses, so it's like... It's kind of irritating. Now when you got a beard and it's laying on your beard and you starting to itch. But uh, I thank God for a job, you know. Uh, I know I can go make some money, you know. Right now we've been working Monday through Saturday, so I only had one day off. And as much as I want to complain, I can't because, you know, getting money. Some people ain't doing that. Um, so I'm thankful for that. I think a lot of things have been running through my mind as far as like life and uh, what I've been through, the things in my life and where I come from to where I'm at now. And, you know, I'm feeling really blessed, <laughs> truly blessed. Uh, you know, I was the... I was got divorced like six years ago. I have been dating uh, on and off since then. Uh, never really, really found that one until uh, last August. And I mean, um, from that point on to now, sure, I was getting married um, July 25th, so I'm happy. Happy that I, I'm happier than I have been in a long time. I mean, I've been in different phases, you know, where I had to, you know, basically admit to myself, like, bro, you're going through some type of depression. You need to go see somebody or do something to, you know, correct that problem. So, you know, I encourage anybody, you know, mental health is, is very important. If you feel in that you need to go speak with somebody. Don't feel bad, oh, you know, because some people put on this, this a stigma on or going to see a psychiatrist or going to uh, see even a counselor. You know, a lot of times, your job will pay for it. Or your insurance will. Uh, they'll give you, like, three free sessions. That's what our insurance covers. So, yeah, I did my three free sessions. My thing was is that, you know, with me dating and dating different women and not finding a one and then coming into some, you know, some relationships and finding that wasn't for me. I wanted to make sure that I was right. Mentally, physically, all that. I mean, the physically part, I still got to work on because I got to lose some weight. I know I do. I can stand to lose some weight. But mentally, I wanted to be to make sure that I was right, you know, moving forward. So if you feel like you need to talk to somebody or even want to just check to make sure because you're feeling funny or you're going through mood swings and you just want to check, go talk to somebody. You ain't got to tell nobody you're doing it. Just go do it. 
I don't even care if you, it, it could be relationships you're dealing with, it could be a parent's death, it could be uh, job issues, it could be harassment, it could be abuse, it could have been something that you could have been molested as a child, whatever it is, go see somebody, talk to them, get it out, you may, they may be able to give you something to get over that, or give you a better way of coping with it. You know, us as black people, that's the last thing. We'll go talk to a friend that can't do us no benefit and tell them all our problems versus going to talk to somebody that can actually help. So, um, I'm trying to think some other things that's been on my mind today. Uh, I know some things have been on my mind about young people. And I know we get a lot of times. People dog out young people about this and that and they this and they that. But I'll say this to my young people. Uh, listen to somebody that's been where you've been. They can save you a lot of heartache and a lot of headaches. Just listen. You know, pick and choose or pick through what they're saying. Some of it might be just rhetoric and them just going on in where but pick what's 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 good and, and what's gonna benefit you i mean we all got somebody older at work or around the neighborhood that talks to us and they got good sense and they they you know they they are they're not getting any benefit out of telling you the things that they tell you except being able to help you and being able to pass down something that they wish somebody would have passed down, down to them because guaranteed they learned the hard way, you know. So, you know, just, I don't know, a lot of times I see these young, uh, some young guys and, you know, they got this hardness about them. They want to prove that they tough and this, this, and that, bro. Come on, man. That's, that's, that, that's, 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 that's weak in itself when you got to go prove that you tough. You know, or take somebody's life just to prove that you tough. There's better things you could be doing. Like I tell my kids, before you settle down, before you make a mistake that'll land you in jail or anything like that, pull the best out of life. And when I say pull the best out of life, take trips. See as much as the world you can, as you can see. Uh, take road trips. Take long walks, you know. Uh, sometimes take the long way home, see things you've never seen before, you know, experience different things, try new food. So, you know, a lot has been going, a lot has been going through my mind, not in a bad way, just different things that I've been thinking about in life. Life will throw you curveballs, but, uh, you can't give up. You got to keep moving, you know. If you complain and you talk about what's wrong with you, I guarantee you can find somebody that's worse off than you. I guarantee it. It happens every time, you know. If we keep going up the gambit and you like, oh, well, my leg hurt. The next person say, well, my hip been replaced three times. The next person say, well, I don't have no lower body. Next person say, I'm dead. So we all got something. But as long as you ain't dead, you're still ahead of the game. So make the best out of it. Stop harping on the past and things that done happened to you. Uh, this done change your life. you know. And, and a lot of times things that are negative, we can use for the positive. Because I know in the Bible it, say, it says what, what the devil means for bad, God means for good. So you have to turn that, that narrative around that it's just the worst thing that happened to you and this, this, and that, or whatever. It's a lot of people out here. It's people that's, that know they only got six months to live, and they still living, still out here smiling. So you, you have to see what's important to you, what's really important in life. Another thing that I, that I see a lot of is, and, I, and I've been there, is that you will never, never, Ever find true happiness in things not in a car not in a brand new house not in a brand new motorcycle not in a brand new rolex not in a 
a three hundred dollar pair of shoes, not in a a five hundred dollar belt. I don't care what it is. You cannot buy a peace of mind. And when I say buy a peace of mind, I mean through an object. Now, if you talking about oh, I just bought a a, a, a an acre of land or something like that out in uh, right by the water, or oh, that can buy you peace. But the average things that we reach for, new TVs, new this, new that, the newest thing that just came out, it ain't going to make you happy. Because you're going to have it for a while, you get bored with it, next thing you know it's collecting dust. On to the next one. Then you get the next thing. You may keep it hot for six, seven months. It's collecting dust. So... I don't know. I just been um I don't know, I've been thinking lately about investments and you know, when money coming in, put money where it can make more money versus, you know, um uh, blowing it or excuse me, doing something that is not doing things that are things that's gonna benefit your future, your 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 future, you know, your bank account. Uh, that'll benefit your kids when you're not long, no longer here. I mean, like buying property, uh, investing in the stock market, or investing in some type of business or product that you can sell, uh, market it and sell, and, and you know, have uh, money coming in every month or every day or whatever it is, you know, or something that you can get a residual income coming in every month so you know that's where my mind has been and you know i got a few things that i plan on working on and trying to put into play it's all gonna take time it's not a race you know you may look at somebody because i know i got a co-worker he got five houses already uh he got a lot of money invested he's doing good and i don't look at it as i'm behind or i should be where he at or whatever i look at his motivation and I want to learn more. Teach me what you know. You know. And then once you, you know, if you give me a little of your knowledge. Tell me where I can find some more information on this. Tell me where I can find some grants on it. Tell me what's the best way of going, you know, going to get, you know, some houses or whatever the case may be. I want to know. I'm never going to hate on nobody. You know, I tell them to, to their face, I'm proud of you. You know, a lot of people wish they was where you at. So, I don't know. I'm in a good place in life. In love, feeling good. Got a good job, insurance, 401k, IRA, you know. But I'm, I'm not where I want to be. Now, that's a want. You say God will provide your needs. I got all my needs, but it's some wants that I want. You know, some land, another house, um, you know, different things. And I plan on going for it. I'm not going to stand still. I ain't going to let nothing stop me. So I would just say be encouraged. Be encouraged. You know, I know every day won't be... Uh, as my pastor say, happy, happy, joy, joy, but keep on moving, make the best out of it, you know, and take every, take every day for what it is that day. The Bible says tomorrow I'm going to worry about itself, but worry about today. Take the day, take it easy. Don't even worry, just take it easy. Take, sometimes we need to take it easy on ourselves. Sometimes we put too much pressure on ourselves. Sometimes we think we're supposed to be on step 270 when really we're supposed to be on step one because you got to start somewhere and just because joe blow down the block is on step uh 900 that ain't got nothing to do with you because what's for him is for him and what's for you is for you he could be stopped stuck at 900 you, you could be going to a million but you got to start somewhere 
And uh, I would also say take time for yourself. Uh, and I think I said it before. Take time for yourself. Find what's your peaceful place. Find what 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 feeds a good energy in your soul. Find what what feed. When I say feel feel your soul is when you're running on E and you need something to keep you going in life. When you, when you, when the pressures of the day got you running on E, you need to find that place where you can go. And I don't care what God you pray to. I don't care if you go in there just to meditate. I don't go care if you go in there just to lay on the on the floor or lay in the grass or you you got a, a, a favorite spot you go to by the water or you got a favorite restaurant you can go to and the little quiet space you can sit there and just you know eat your food or whatever it is. But find you a place. You know, because it, as just as important as family time is, just as uh, important as quality time with a loved one is, whether it's your family members or it's your, your spouse or your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, it is twice as important for you to get your me time. You know, spending some time with you, relaxing, kick your feet up, take your shoes off somewhere, you know, if you're going to the park by yourself and you just sit on the bench and, you know, you stop by and get you, you know, you stop past 7-Eleven, get you a Slurpee or whatever and just sit at the park and just, you know, think. You know, I also would say get a, get a, go to the dollar store, get you a couple of, of notebooks, whatever you, kind you like. You know, we got colors on it, if it's plain or whatever it is. Start writing your thoughts down, your dreams. Your, your, write a bucket list of places you want to travel. Ooh, that book went dead in my ear and knocked my ear ring off. So, that's about it for me. That must have been a sign. Because I swiped that blood and slapped my ear ring dead on my ear. But I thank you all for watching. If you like the content, please hit the like button and subscribe. And another thing, I never knew it was this hard to try to get people to follow you. It's, it's, it's actually a task. Because, you know... You have a million friends on Facebook, and you can send out a message for you know to everybody. Please follow me. And out of a hundred people, three will follow you. But such as life won't let it stress me out. I just hope, like you know, when I make a video, that out of the video, somebody gets something out of it. I don't care if it's a laugh. Uh, inspiration, I don't care if it's just a thought, I don't even care if it's like I can't stand this guy, he don't know what the hell he's talking about, so be it it is what it is, but get something out of it, you know I'm I'm not doing this for uh, to get to the point where I'm making money off of it, I'm not doing this point for trying to get fame, but it's more this is a way for me to an outlet to express myself Get what I'm thinking out, you know, out of my out of my head, out loud. So this is my therapy too. So if it get big, I'm with it. If it don't, I do do it as long as it serves a purpose for me to be able to get out how I feel and express myself. So that's what it's about for me. Just just you know, expression, and if it can help somebody along the way. That's a blessing, too. Well, once again, thank you for watching uh, Jay's Life Out Loud. I had to remember the name of the, uh, I switched it to. Uh, my real name is Jason. For those that don't know, that's my middle name. So, that's why I get Jay's Life Out Loud. So, I appreciate y'all watching. Like I say... Please like and subscribe. I need some more subscribers. I want to be a blessing to as many people as I can. Oh, and I've been wanting to talk to y'all about uh, the Gambia. You know, in Africa. Also, uh, I've been looking at the Yucatan and Mexico. And these are two places that I'm thinking about uh, retiring, at, right, retiring to. I want to retire or early. Lord willing, it'll happen. But... Um, 
Yucatan I've been looking at for the last three years. A co-worker of mine, him and his father are from Yucatan. He's like, oh, there's no uh, no uh, cartel there. It's so peaceful. This, this, and that. So I started looking it up. Been looking it up for the last three years. I've uh, found people on YouTube that live over there, and they do a uh, YouTube channel, and they tell you about how much is this, and this, is and that. You know, uh, the one couple I watched, he explained that their health insurance over in Yucatan, in Mexico, is only 400 something dollars a year, which is incredible, because uh, we all know if you stay in America, you pay way more than that for health insurance. Um... I think right now, one dollar in Mexico is worth between nineteen or twenty-two pesos, which you know you up in your money. Uh, a lot of areas in the Yucatan and some other areas they have uh, WalMarts, Burger Kings, McDonald's. They have all the, a lot of the same stuff we have here. So uh, I would just say investigate, find out for yourself. Uh, another, uh, my cousin put me on to the Gambia, uh, and I got to looking at that, and one American dollar over there is worth 51 delasis. That's what delasis is. That's what they call delasis. So, I mean, you, 51 versus one dollar, so you take your money over there. You quadrupling it. So, uh, I did a kind of scenario with, like, okay, say if you retired and you had 80000 uh in your 401k, which, not so I'm saying by retirement is going to be way more than that. But I'm just saying it's a small amount, like 80000 80000 in the Gambia would be $4.1 million blah 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 something else but it's 4.1 million if you can't take 4.1 million and live off that in a country where they average hourly rate of pay is two dollars and 77 cent something is wrong with you you could make that you know last into your dying day if you buy in the right land and you know i know i've seen five six seven bedroom mansions over there that are $400 to $500 a month to rent. So let alone if you had something built. Uh, another thing that I looked at, you could have, for for them getting paid minimum wage, I don't even think they call it minimum wage, but around the area that they get paid is $2.77. Okay, so if they average that out for, at $2.77, you could have 10 people working for you for eight hours a day, and at the end of the week, Monday through Friday, you would pay them all together, all 10 people, $216. Where they do that at? You tell me. You can't, because they ain't doing that here. Not at all. But if you think about it, the United States does it all the time. They have a big business. So the business does, okay, we got too much overhead. Our most overhead is we got. Uh, what we pay in our employees, what minimum wage is, or whatever the case may be, or the average wage here for this certain job may be $26 an hour. So what do they do? They move the plant to Mexico. They move it over to China. Or they have another facility make what they want. You know, most of our products that you see, if you read the label, it's say from China. Why is it made from China? Nine times ten, it's an American-owned company, but they're getting it made over there and shipped here, just like your clothes and everything else. So, why not use that to your own advantage? If you find you, you know, if you get to investigate in, into another country and you find out that your money will go stretch longer there. And you'll get more bang for your buck. It's worth it. it, it at least in, in, investing the time to find out more about it. Taking a trip over there to see what's really going on. See it firsthand. See if it's worth it. See if there's somewhere that you will be comfortable living in. Check it out. Ain't nothing to do it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. I mean, if you want to retire here, what do we do here in Michigan? Most people that retire from Michigan, we travel out. We pay to travel out 
to go somewhere that's hot. We only get two months of summer, maybe three. And in Michigan, your summer might be snow. It might be snowing outside. So I don't know. But um, yeah, if you get a chance, you know the Gambia is in Africa, and a lot of people are, you know, even a lot of black people are convinced that Africa is dirt mounds and uh, people walking around barefooted and. Stop believing the narrative that America has put out there and the media has put out about Africa. Check it out for yourself. Uh, if you get a chance on YouTube, the YouTube channel is called uh, it's the Bag Family. Um, I can't think of what the bag what bag breaks down, but if you look up Gambia, I guarantee that they channel come up. Um, they're doing it big over there. They're trying to. They got a. They they purchased a lot of land and they're trying to give back. They're trying to employ people. They're trying to um, make an area where more blacks from America can come over, help out, uh, visit. You know uh, the answer. I haven't yet emailed them yet and I plan to to ask a couple of questions but they welcome questions uh if they can help you they definitely will um uh, they're not gonna sit on the phone with you for hours answering all your questions or emails every five minutes but they will help you a lot if you you can't find something out you can go to them um black acres of the gambia that's what it is black acres of the gambia please check them out they post almost every day or every other day. I don't care if it's a 20-minute video or 19-minute video. Uh, a lot of good information, you know. Uh, don't believe everything you hear. Find out for yourself whether you... All, all I'm saying is think, don't, think outside the box. Stop thinking about what regular retirement is. Because most of the time when we retire here... In Michigan, people just putz around the house. That's it. They putz around the house. Oh, my house paid off. This paid off. And they putz around the house till they just die. If you're one of those people that want excitement, you want to still live, you want new adventures, you want to continue to learn and grow and and, and feed your mind and feed your 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 body new experiences I think it is it's a good thing and if you're tired of cold weather because I know I am I don't need no more snow I don't need to see no more snow if I move somewhere and it's hot I, I stayed in California for a year I didn't miss no snow I like to I miss I like Michigan in the fall you can see all the colors but I can see it on TV and be fine I can come and visit and be fine so there's something worth looking at, you know. And there are several things that they need over in the Gambia that you can go over there and provide and make money off. Akon even said it. Akon said, any idea that you have or any business you have, take it over to Africa. You're going to become a millionaire if you do it right. Uh, one lady said they don't have laundromats in the Gambia. There's a lot of things in Africa that are needed that we can bring. And to be honest, I'm not saying, and, and, and listen to me when I'm saying that, you could go over to Africa and take over. Not take over our people, but what I'm saying is, as far as your business goes, you could go over there and start a resort. I'm going to give you all a little insight on what I'm thinking. What I'm thinking is, you buy land near the water. Now, with this land, you, rec you create a resort. On this resort... A resort always has uh, excursions you can do. If the area doesn't have excursions already, you can start your own. Four-wheelers, horseback riding. As far as the food, you can grow everything over there. You got, you know, some areas had the rainy season or whatever, but that's even better. You know, you can grow all your crops. You can have chickens. You can have uh, meat chickens. The meat chickens are chickens that you raise to actually eat. We know we love our chicken. There's a million re recipes you can do with chicken. 
Uh, the other chickens, they're going to produce your eggs. Uh, what else? You you can plant all the fruits you can think of, all the vegetables you can think of. You can plant aloe vera and, you know, uh, for skin uses, you know, lotions and all that type of stuff. All these things that you could go ahead and plant. You could have your cows out there in a certain area. You could have, you know, whatever livestock you need to survive. And you could be self-sufficient on your own land, have people fly in to come stay at your resort. You just make it top notch. So I'm telling you, if you, I couldn't imagine, if I'm telling you 80000 to get you $4.1 million over there in the Gambia, I'm just speaking on the Gambia in Africa, not any other part of Africa. If, th if that would give you $4.1 million, can you imagine with $100,000, $200,000, $300,000? Or if you got $400,000 left in, in, in your retirement when, you get, when you're leaving your job, I want us as black people to start thinking bigger than the average. I just want to retire, have my house paid off, have, a, have my car paid off, and just travel. Think outside the box. What will give you more money? You know, because even if you got your retirement, and like I said, if it's, if it's 80000 that you get from your 401k and it's $4.1 million over there, think about it. You also get in Social Security. So whatever your Social Security is that's coming in, whatever it is that's coming in, that's transferring into their dollars. That's more money. So you making moves. Then if you start a business over there, Buy more land, more investment, start a club over there, go over there, start a beauty salon, go over there and, and uh, you can make money off the cocoa industry. Cocoa is where we get our chocolate from. There's not a lot of cocoa factories over there that, that manufacture the cocoa, manufact the cocoa into chocolate and ship right back here for a lot more money. There are so many ways to get revenue in and you will be taking over the market especially if there's nothing over there that's doing that so i mean you got the hairdresser thing you got uh schools you could open all types of stuff so let's keep that in mind i went way further than i thought i was gonna go but that was a topic that i wanted to talk about for a while but if you like the channel please like subscribe even if you don't like it and you just want to hate on me and you but you want to see every video go ahead and do that too much love to y'all much respect be blessed be safe out here and please subscribe please all right i'll holler